What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Sharks on Super Mega Baseball 3 where the Sharks are 14 and 15. We are in the playoff hunt. Right now if the season ended we'd be a playoff team. It's still very close. Who knows if we can make it back to the postseason but hopefully in this last stretch of games we can go on at least one solid winning streak to solidify our chances. I want to see a four or five game winning streak in here get a few games above 500 I think that'll get us a playoff spot I don't see a lot of teams finishing well over 500 this year no one's really broken out we have a few teams 17 and 12 17 and 13 but still extremely close Zane Rose this year has been better than his rookie season but now he has a matchup against Anton Greenberry and the Toucans. This isn't an easy matchup at all. We're going to simulate this one with the Toucans going up early. And after we tied the game, they win it in extras. That's a game you probably expect us to lose anyway. But we were so close to taking it. On the other hand, I think this is a matchup you'd expect the Sharks to do well. Al French takes the mound. He's become our best starting pitcher this season. We have a matchup here against Christian Walter, who has a 7.5 ERA, a 2-0-8 whip. We got to put up some runs in this game. And we do early on in the first inning. It's a blowout win. Neil Hope with a two-run homer at the end. That helps the run differential even more. We have a two-game set now against the Cobras, who are 16 and 14. Rowan Barton versus Rhett Sheffield, who really has not had the best season. And they're able to put up four early on, and we are able to make it close, but cannot tie the game at the end. This is taking us to a 15 and 17 record, despite the run differential at plus 26. Now you get Tyrus Sparks, Chris Lamente of the Cobras, a 1-7-3 ERA. I want to sim one more game today. Sparks played really well in that last episode. Eight innings, very good outing for him, best of the season. But now, you're not going to win too many score in one run. And just like that, the Sharks are 15-18. and 18. So we certainly have some work to do. Zane Rose on the mound against Harold Smiley as we take on the Razors. The Sharks at 15 and 18 need to get some wins. Whether or not we make the playoffs this year, I think it's going to be extremely close. I expect this to go down to the final games of the season. And in that case, there'll probably be less simulating. I do more simming here in the middle of the season to speed things along. But Zane Rose takes the mound here in a matchup against the Razors. Casey Uptown leads off. We have an 0-2 count. Of course, trying to get the strikeouts up here for Rose in his second year. We'll take a weak grounder to second base as well. Lungcaster hits one in the air to center. And that's an easy catch for Demario Waddle. Two quick outs. Now Antoine Thomas, who's only hitting 186 this season, does have power. And that is just wide of the base. Another weak grounder that takes a hop right to Sparks. It's a 1-2-3 first inning. And there's Casey Daniels, 372 on the year. Another fantastic season for Casey Daniels. Still can't believe I almost considered letting him go. One and two. Wow, that's a pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Smiley picks up the strikeout, and now you have Preston Sullivan. Hasn't homered here in a little while, and he's tense as a result. I know just what he needs to fix that. Two and two. Wow. Wow. Striking out the first two batters here. Smiley does have K-Man, so those two strike counts are going to be even more of a concern. Got to jump on pitches you like early in the count. Here we go again. Two strikes to Neil Hope. 
We avoid a strikeout. It's a base hit to center. All right, Ty Gonzalez. He is locked in now with seven homers, 20 RBIs. Line drive center field. Let's go first to third on that. No, let's go back. And now you have Demario Waddle, who is tense despite still having a very good average at 321. Trying to bring home the first run here. 2-0 to Waddle. Got to go power swing as it's in the dirt. 3-0 green light. I don't trust myself on the inside pitches. And now a full count. And a grounder. Stopped by Hayes. And retired at first. Pretty good numbers here for Asher Wright who clobbers one deep to right. I don't know what it is, but the changeup has been the hardest pitch for me to locate. I keep missing it, trying to throw it at the knees. It's missing more belt high, and those are getting crushed. There we go. Nice swing for a miss. And a strikeout for Zane Rose. We have a two strike count now to Nate Bell. We'll try that change up again. Got him to offer at it. Go back to the fastball. He saw that coming apparently. But what about one over here? That one is not getting through. Sylvester Seymour. That brings up Alvin Cameron. Better change up there. Still hit pretty hard. I got to be careful with those first pitch change ups. We have two quick strikes, though, going to a power curveball. Wow, another diving catch at third. Seymour stays busy, and he'll hit this inning as we go bottom two. All he sparks. That is going to be stopped by Hayes. One down. Sonny Cooker gets a hold of one to the deepest part of the park. It hits in the corner, and that is a one-out double. Here is Sylvester Seymour with the RBI opportunity and a hitter's count. Wow, barely hit it. And they get the out at third base. I didn't think they'd try to get the out there. It looked too close. But now Seymour at first base, and it's two down for Logan Aguirre. K-Man's been activated all game, it feels like. Just avoided the strikeout there. Smiley wants another one. Wow, that's a really good pitch on the outside. Nice slider here over the inside. We have a two strike count for Zane Rose. Wow, that was the perfect fastball. And it's still getting out. Caught up to it through like 99 inside. Like, that's just impressive. Fourth homer of the year. I don't know how. But uh, they're starting to anticipate a lot of these mid-count fastballs, I've noticed. I haven't thrown as many of the secondary pitches. So I suppose we'll break out the slider and curveball a little bit more than I was. Here we have two down in the inning. Missed the fastball there. It's going to exit right center. Tanya Lancaster, solo homer, third of the day for the Razors. They're all going to right center. They're all solo shots. This is a problem. You have Rose already tense. If you can't fix that, it's turning into a busy day for the bullpen. And the fastball is just not getting the job done. We'll throw him from time to time, of course, but it seems we have to mix it up more. And that's going to right center. Thankfully, not as much carry as the previous three. Asher Wright hits one hard, but it will end the inning. 
The Razors are up 3-0 and the Sharks need some offense. Into center field, Casey Daniels has it fall in. He's aboard. Missing inside here to Sullivan. Whoa, good uh, pitch low. Wow. I can't hit some of these pitches today. Smiley picking up the strikeouts. Now one down. Again, that fastball low keeps getting me. And I'm late on that one. Gotta speed up the timing a little bit. Strike three looking. At least the pitch count is already getting pretty high for three innings. Up the middle. Smashed into center by Gonzalez. Two aboard. That brings up to Mario Waddle trying to get us a run. We'll take that one high. I want to see that pitch count go up. Missing inside. That's perfect. 2-0. I didn't even know where that was going. Going to right field. Back at the wall and cut by Thomas. Gave it a ride, but no runs for the Sharks. Desperate now for a zero as Zane Rose is tense. Two quick strikes. I want to check out the bullpen, though. Anderson only threw nine pitches in the previous game. Velez didn't pitch. Okay, bullpen is prepared if this doesn't get better. But I'm hoping for two zeros and then pull rows probably after five. Sounds good to me. Maybe six because next inning would be top of the order. And if he gets through that, then maybe you stick with him for one more. We'll see. We have Nate Bell at the plate. All right, looking for the strikeout now. Let's go with the curveball away. And it's pulled over to Sparks. Mojo is neutral again, but one big swing and it's going back down. Alvin Cameron. Won't offer, but can't throw it better. There we go. Like that breaking ball away. Let's try a little more outside. Nope. I might have swung at that. Got him with the fastball. All right. Big zero for Zane Rose. What can we do here in the fourth inning? Got jammed there again. Hayes diving stop. He's done that a couple times. Well, here's Seymour. Let's see if he can connect on one of these. Two down. He likes throwing away quite a bit. Does it again, missing. Falling behind in the count. And a tapper to second base. Just on top of the ball there. That's hit pretty hard, and that is going to likely be extra bases. Another big hit for the Razors, and they're looking to extend this lead. Big swing and miss there. Curveball stays low at least. Doesn't get a swing. Fastball won't either. I think Velo's dropping a little bit. Lined? No! I played that way too aggressively. My hope there was to make it a line out because I didn't want it on the ground and for the runner at second to try to move to third base. So I thought I could slide there, make the catch. Maybe not get a double play, but at least keep him from advancing. But now we've just created this entire mess. Top of the order. Maybe we go to our bullpen here before things get even worse. Let's go with Velez. Didn't pitch in the last game. Has the velo, and we need a strikeout badly. Runner goes. I threw it to third base. Missed with the fastball. It's going to score at least one. And likely two. Now 
At least we'll pick up a double play here, but on these pitches I've been missing, they have not been missing. Antoine Thomas deep to center. Doesn't have enough. Not quite. But it's now 5-0. A drive to left center. Casey Daniels. It gets down. He's headed to third base. That'll help. Sullivan will drive him home. Sharks on the board. All right, 3-1 count here. Smiley losing the accuracy even more. And now a full count Wow, again going to the outside. I've looked at a few of those today. Right center field hit pretty well. It gets down. Is it enough to bring home a run? We're going to try it. And this will be an RBI double. We get a couple back here at least. Are we finished? We have Demario Waddle. An RBI single here might take him away from Tense Mojo. Turned on it. It's going to fall in. We're sending him home. The throw is not in time. That was not safe by much. The rally continues, and there goes Harold Smiley. Really interesting outing for him. A lot of strikeouts, but also a lot of deep counts, and now one bad inning. Here we go, 5-3. All right, that's going to end the inning, but I feel like we have a shot now. We have a two-strike count here to Asher Wright, who hit a home run earlier. Trying to avoid that, and he fouls off a pretty good pitch. Strike three looking for Velez. Fooled him there. That creates a two-strike count. Velez with the dribbler down the line. Maybe give Velez one more inning, potentially. That is going to get through, however. Somehow it got through and trying to go first to third. That does it. We really need to end this inning now. We just got three runs on the board. This is a really big at-bat here. Great Hambino has a double, a home run, two in scoring position here. We're pitching very carefully. And I think that we're okay going to the nine hitter with the bases loaded. That'll bring up quick best. Base is juiced. First pitch curveball is in there. Let's go with a uh, power pitch fastball. A curveball inside. And now a two strike count. What will he chase? Slider. There it is! Strike three! I love that strike three call. Huge strikeout for Luis Velez. Whoa, I was a little ahead of that one. That's down. I don't want to talk about that one. Well, that's much better, and it's drilled right to Cameron. Sylvester Seymour is out, and now Aguirre. I like some of these breaking balls here. Got to sit back just a little bit. That's a 1-2-3 inning. Angelina Anderson in the game. Hoping for two innings here. Stamina is a little over three quarters it looks like. So we'd like some quick outs if we're looking to get six of them. And we'll start it off with a nice strikeout. Well, let's definitely uh, try to get maybe a couple pitch to contact. 
quick outs here if we can. Or I guess we could always go for some strikeouts. That's hit pretty hard, and it's off the glove of Ollie Sparks. That's a base hit. Could really use a ground ball here. Antoine Thomas. If it's on the ground hit at somebody, well, it doesn't matter. The inning not going how we had intended. Now it's Asher Wright. He's hit the ball hard today. Really want him to chase one of these just off the plate. There we go. Uh-oh. Crushed to deep left field. A towering blast. And a three-run homer. Could not get it outside enough. The accuracy has not been great for me. It's 8-3. to three. I don't know about this game now. We're back to a five-run deficit. Hammer to right field. Casey Daniels home run. He is now a double from the cycle. That's his fifth of the season. And now a drive from Sullivan. Deep to center. Back to back. Let's not lose hope. And now we get Neil Hope. What's it going to be after two in a row? Two and two. On the ground, but it's another hit. Three in a row to begin the inning. New pitcher in the game, and those ratings are really, really good. It's drilled to center, but right at right. Tatsumi locked in. That's a pretty good pitch to hit there. If we be patient, though, the stamina is going to go down. He's not at 100% today. But one and two now to Waddle. Went after it, and we just avoid a double play. Tapped it. It's a slow one. And out by a step. We get two back. I think that we got to go to... Probably Tanner Parker here. And then Valdez gets the ninth. Oh no. Off the glove and still out. Yeah, my mojo would be down after that too. Pop up. In foul territory, Hope should have room. All right, a 1-2-3-8 that went by very quickly. Can we get another run back? Cooker to left field! That is gone! Shipping away one run at a time. Sylvester Seymour's turn. He's hit five on the year. Oh my! So close. Pretty good pitch there on the outside. Can't do enough with it. Well, here's Casey Daniels. A double from the cycle. Trying to continue the comeback attempt. That misses high. Stamina way down as well. Should have swung at that one. And Daniels grounds it to Bell. It'll take a ninth inning comeback. Valdez will pitch the ninth. And we'll see if we can get a couple, but it hasn't been the best episode, and we really need to get some wins. This is a big inning for us. Got a couple strikes here to Antoine Thomas, and he's out in front, strike three. What do you do, though, with Asher Wright and his day? You can't throw anything in the strike zone, really. Under the glove, and a base hit.
Valdez will end the inning with a strikeout of Glenn Hayes. But now, it's our last inning. Preston Sullivan leads off. And he crushes one to center. He's aboard. New pitcher, Andre Francis. And do we need more speed on first base here? Sullivan isn't slow. Comparable speed to Boof Cobb and Enter Tax to Nico Gonzalez. We'll keep him out there for now. He is not the tying run, so if this goes to extras, you want him to stay in the game. But two quick strikes to hope. Oh no, a three pitch strikeout. Ty Gonzalez now. We need something big from him. And we're going to get a base hit. And not try to go first to third. Demario Waddle. What a spot here in the ninth. Representing the winning run. Francis misses inside with the ball. Wow, I can't believe that's a strike. Trying to pitch inside to Waddle. Two and two. Right down the middle. Back in left field. It's caught by Best. Two down. And now it's up to Ollie Sparks. 0 for 4 on the day. Here we go. High strike is in. Come on, fall in. Fall in. It does! A run scores. And the tying run now at third base. Come on, Sonny Cooker. Oh, man. The pressure is on. Cooker, a chance to tie the game. I am glad we didn't hit that ball. 0-1. And quickly, an 0-2 count to Sonny Cooker. We lay off that one. We're not taking second base. Oh, no! Strike three! Those were terrible swings. And the Sharks come up short. 8-7. Gave it all we had there at the end. Couple bad strikeouts though. We struck out nine times in this game. And the Razors are able to hang on. This isn't good for the Sharks. Last place in the conference. I get that we're only a couple games back, but we're getting further away from the playoffs instead of closer. And now we're looking at like 13 games to go. Very important that we get some wins together here and go on a nice streak. Or we're not going to the playoffs. Really tough episode today. Was really hoping we could find a way to win it. But the room for error is shrinking with every loss. Gotta find a way to win some games here going forward. Here are the league leaders. Obviously, our pitching hasn't been great. We have to score a lot of runs usually to be competitive, and we can. But asking us to do it every game is a bit much. That will do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the action, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more Super Mega Baseball soon to continue the playoff push. Have a great day.